Moped gangs on London's streets brazenly stealing from pedestrians, some going to any length to take from their victims. Indiscriminately, they assault and threaten innocent people, with the capital's busiest streets offering them rich pickings. I kind of noticed something moving out of the corner of my eye, um, and as I turned towards it, I realised it was a moped, but it still hadn't dawned on me what was happening. Um, they snatched my phone and rode off down the road. It wasn't really helplessness for me, it was definitely anger. Hera was just one of many moped crime victims last year. Now new figures obtained by BBC London show that moped assisted thefts and robberies in our shopping hotspots have increased sixfold over the last two years. The data from the Met Police shows it's here on Oxford Street where most offences took place last year, with 291 compared to 278 the year before and 13 in 2014 to 15. Regent Street and Bond Street have also seen thefts increase dramatically since 2016. The situation is of huge concern to criminologists. It's certainly the crime of the moment, it appears in London. And young uh, gang-affiliated boys, for example, will actively want these mobile phones because they can sell them for high value. Uh, they can be decoded, they can be reused, so there's a profit margin to be made. Earlier this month, a 22-year-old man was stabbed after he chased down a moped passenger who snatched his mobile phone out of his hand on Oxford Street. But police and city hall say intensive operations and new tactics in the West End have led to an overall decrease in motorbike-enabled crime since October 2017. So we've been working with the Metropolitan Police very hard over the last year to deal with moped crime and the, the snatches and the thefts that are happening on mopeds. And the money that the Mayor has put in this week into extra policing and extra officers on the street will have an impact on all crime, so that includes moped crime. We've also been working in partnership, calling on the motorcycle moped manufacturers to do their bit to ensure that there is, it's harder to steal mopeds. Despite these assurances, Hira says it's no surprise he still feels unsafe and is always wary when walking alone. I do look over my shoulder more than I used to. Uh, so th there is a slight feeling of being on edge still, uh, just because of what happened back then. But, I mean, that, that's to be expected.